Hello students, good time to all. I am Chandan Kumar Pradhan. Welcome to your YouTube channel Chandan Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss applications of op-amps. One application in case of inverting amplifiers. Let's begin. How we can formulate inverting amplifiers by using an op-amp. What is inverting amplifiers? If uh, we provide a signal to the input of uh, an inverting amplifiers, then at output the signal is amplified, but uh, that output signal is 180 degree out of phase to that of input signal. That type of amplification is known as inverting amplification, and that type of uh, amplifications are achieved by using inverting amplifiers. In that uh, particular video, we discuss how we create an inverting amplifier by using an op-amp. In an op-amp, it has two terminals. plus as non-inverting terminal minus as inverting terminal. Non-inverting terminal potential V1, inverting terminal potential V2. To create an inverting amplifiers by using that op-amp, what we additionally created, here we obtain the output VO, for non, for inverting amplifiers, we provide signal to that of inverting terminals of that op-amp. Resistor having resistance let Ri signal Vs is supplied to that of inverting terminal of that op-amp and the non-inverting terminal is grounded. Again, we use the feedback It has the resistance RF. Negative feedback is used. Some portions of output is the input to that end. If uh, we provide a signal like this, then at output we have uh, the signal that is inverted and amplified, 180 degree inverted but amplified. Now we mathematically show what we the output voltage and as it is uh, a closed loop, then what be the closed loop gain?
as that uh, signal is applied to that of uh, inverting terminal let uh, i i amount of current flow at that end let that uh, node g current is divided some amount of current through this and some amount of current to that end let that uh, amount of current feedback current if to that of feedback resistance next some amount of current to that of amplifier as ib ai is equal to if plus ib look here we know in case of uh, an ideal op amp the input impedance is infinity so no current through that of op amp so ib will be zero for an ideal op amp ib is equal to zero now that expression changed ii I is equal to if from ohms law current from ohms law i is equal to potential difference divided by resistance for i of i here the resistance first ri next for if here the resistance is rf now for ii current from the potential vs to v2 so potential difference vs minus v2 next for if that is the potential difference from v2 to v0 that is the direction of flow of current the potential difference v2 minus vo from the concept of virtual ground as that non inverting terminal is grounded from the concept of virtual ground v1 is equal to zero then v2 virtually grounded that is also zero now we use that concept or in place of v2 we supplement zero so vs minus zero divided by ri is equal to v2 is zero zero minus v0 divided by rf or vs divided by ri is equal to minus v0 divided by rf we have to calculate what be the output voltage therefore
भि नट इज इक्वल टू माइनस आर एफ बै आर आई इंटू भि एस दैट बी द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर आउटपुट वोल्टेज equation number 1 this is the expression output voltage next as uh, that one is a closed uh, loop then we have uh, to calculate the closed loop voltage gain from that of expression output voltage to vs v not by vs is equal to minus rf divided by ri so v not by vs is equal to ads this minus rf by ri that is the expression for open loop voltage gain this is the expression expression for open sorry closed loop closed loop voltage gain in case of inverting amplifier so by using an op amp we create an inverting amplifier so with the help of this video lecture we understand how an inverting amplifier is created by using an op amp that the mathematical calculation of output voltage and closed loop voltage gain so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you